Welcome back everyone. I have another 12 by 12 layout for you and this time I'm documenting my beautiful doggy Snowy. So of course the first thing I did was I picked my papers. I will be using this gorgeous paper from Simple Stories. It's Basics and it's Walnut and Cream Dots. This is the one sheet but luckily I bought two lots and I'm going to be using the side A and side B. I fell in love with this scrap piece of paper from my stash. I loved the purple tones of it and I loved how it contrasted with Snowy's fur. But I didn't think it helped the photo to pop so I'm going to use the other side of that dark brown, dark brown paper and I'm going to give the photo a tiny little match using my Perfect Layers ruler. I really like that so I've decided now that I'm going to ink my edges and I'm using the Distress Oxides in the colour Walnut Stain. Inking your edges is a personal choice. I like doing it because when I'm using different layers of paper I think it or I believe that it helps to differentiate between the layers. I was being very stubborn and I definitely wanted to use that purpley scrap piece of paper but it wasn't standing out against the dark brown background paper. So of course my solution is to give my photo a third mat. I promise this is the final mat on my photo. But of course I'm going to ink all the edges just to give some consistency throughout the layout. I'm going to bring back my background paper and I love it. I love the contrast and I love that little bit of purple around my photo. It's all looking exactly how I want it. I did bring in a doily from my stash which I will use and then I decided I wanted to make a bone. So I did the bone on my silhouette machine. It's one of the cut files from the silhouette store and I used a gorgeous paper from Kaiser Craft. It was just a scrap that I had in my stash. It was from the Paul Perfect collection called Cats. I didn't think there was enough contrast between my bone and my background paper. I had looked through my stash for something to back my bone with, but I didn't really find anything that really spoke to me. So of course I'm going to make my own. I got out a scrap piece of paper and I added some clear gesso to it. And then I'm going to dry it with a heat gun. Now it's time to add some colour. So my first choice was to add some Distress Oxides in the colour Carved Pumpkin. Yes, it is an odd choice, but I wanted to have some nice orangey warm tones behind my brown colour once I add it. So now it's time to add my next layer of colour and this is the Distress Oxide and it's also the walnut stain that I was using to ink all my edges. In the interest of keeping this video as short as possible, I'm just going to cut to the end product. Abracadabra and my paper's all done and I absolutely love the colour and because of the gesso, I, you can see the streaks of my, oh, not the paintbrush, the silicone brush that I used. It just looks gorgeous if I say so myself. So now I am going to back it with my little cut file there and I just love it and of course I'm going to do some fussy cutting and once it's all fussy cut I'm going to bring it back into my layout to see how everything looks ah but before I do that of course I'm going to ink my edges I really like how this layout is coming together and I'm so happy to finally document this photo of Snowy because I wanted to have a memory of what he looked like when he was doing what he does best and that is guarding the children. As the children are playing in the yard he likes to just lie down and watch them and watch their every move and if one of them cries he quickly comes and gets me. So from this gorgeous paper from Kaiser Craft, the what is it? It's from the Paul, Paul Perfect collection. It's called Rough. I'm just going to Cut out some of those little strips. Now this one here says, dogs do speak, but only to those who know how to listen. I really do believe that as pet owners, we learn to communicate with our dear little fur babies. I know that even though they don't talk to me, I more or less know what they want. I know when they're happy, I know when they're sad, and vice versa. They tend to cheer me up when I seem to be down. Um, I'm sure that anyone with pets will understand what I'm trying to say. Enough waffling and let's get back to the layout. As you can see I cut out some of those strips where I'm going to glue down to the top and the bottom of my layout 
And this is where I decided it's time for a little bit more mixed media. So I got out some modeling paste. I got out this gorgeous purple metallic paint that I had in my stash. And I'm going to do some mixing. And I love the color that I get in the end. I have no idea why I started adding my stenciling with a little cotton bud. I really got no idea what I was thinking. But here I am. I finally went and got out my spatula and I start doing some stenciling. This is just a stencil I have in my stash. I've got no idea where it's from. I couldn't even find the package in. It's just been in my stencil folder and I thought it would look well with a pet layout. Okay, stenciling done and now it's time to work out what I'm going to do. Now, I loved my doily, but it was that white was just too in your face. So what I did was I got my Distress Oxide in the color Antique Linen and this just toned everything down and I'm really, really happy. So never be afraid to, if something doesn't look quite right, to just go, you know what, I'm going to get out my, this, my inks or whatever you've got and just change the colour. So once I put everything back to my layout, I, I thought the purple was just a little bit too harsh and it wasn't really blending in, well not blending in, but I wanted it to look more like the purple match that I had on my photo and that had like undertones of brown so what I did was I got out my distress oxide in the walnut stain again and I just I dabbed it up and down it's, it looks like I in the video it looks a bit fast and you can't really see it, but I'm actually dabbing it up and down and just with the pouncing motion I covered all those dots with a little bit of brown and it just toned everything down and just made every it just brought the whole layout together Okay, so this scrap of paper, I've got no idea where it was, but I just love the Our Dog. I don't land up using that title, Our Dog, because, I don't know, I just don't like saying the word Our Dog. He's Our Snowy. So I land up just doing some fussy, fussy cutting of the letters. I do ink them with the walnut stain, just like I have been inking everything else. And then I get out some of my thickers to write, the, to write his name, Snowy. So the title ends up being... Owl Snowy. So the thickers I used are from American Crafts and they are called Celebrate. So of course I don't like the thickers. I like the size of them but for some reason they didn't really jump off the layout. It just blended in too much with my doily. So what I did was I got out some of my uh, mixed media stash and here I am using the Prima Metallic Wax in Bronze Age. And I did that as a first coat and really happy with that. Once I had my first layer of that gorgeous bronze age wax, I decided that I want to add a little bit of green or hints of green to it. So I rubbing a little bit of the, it's also the Prima, but this one is called Antique Brilliance Wax and the color is uh, Lucky Emerald. I bring back this gorgeous paper because I decided to use all those lovely descriptive words on the side. So I take my trimmer to cut them all out and I'll end up gluing them on the layout and the words say loyal, faithful, protector, devoted and best friend. All great words to describe our beautiful snowy. And so we come to the end of the layout. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I wish you all the best. Take care. Here are a few still shots. Until next time, bye everyone.